Hello, welcome back uh, to the control. Let's hurry up to see Ahti since we have 19 minutes to do whatever he wants. Uh, maintain secret sector, I think this one. Okay, good NSC energy converters. Uh, energy converters, I think I know where it is. I think. Which doesn't have to mean anything. Control room. It's definitely not it. Printer's office and ventilation. Wait, where's the query printer's Oh god. Damn it! No, no. What? Oh, God damn it. No. No, we're not done. Oh, way too close, way too close. I think I took the wrong turn. And I see energy converters this way. Of course I took the wrong turn. Would you mind hurrying up a bit? No! Or maybe yes? Maybe? Well, it should be this way. So maybe it is this way. Like hell I know. Yeah, we're in the right place. My eyes open. We Good. Out of the woods yet. Sure. Where are the energy converters? That way. Later. Central maintenance, energy converters that way. We've been to mean this. Key his targets. What the? Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. But I can heal like this, oh my god. Uh, I have how many? Oh, I have four, so yeah, give me that. Additional personal mode slot. Oh, that's nice. Can I use it? Nope, not like this, like this. Mod slot, nope. Oh, this personal mod slot. Energy boost, energy recovery speed, that's nice. Mm, I like that. I'm sorry about that. Whoa, stop doing that. What? I didn't see him! Just die! Really? Where are they coming from? Whoa! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm nearly dead. Whoa, I don't see a thing. Nope. 
damn it. Wait, it failed? Oh, what a shame. I thought we just have to fit into the time limit. I know that it's one time trial. Oh well. Well, now I we'll know. I'll be more careful next time. Yeah, I need to go back. Wait, wait. Give me a second. This out of there. Okay, let's fast travel. What's that? What that means. Um. No. Um. Central. Okay, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, this is the fastest way, I think. Okay, let's go to the research sector. Yeah. A research over here. Okay, we've been here, we can go over there, well, only way, well, we can try going over there. No, we definitely need to go down. Oh no, you don't. I actually hit him, that's amazing. That was one ugly luck. Okay, it still looks amazing. It. Oh, I guess it hit him. That didn't. Oh. It's not the end yet. Sniper. Well, I get so many. S oh, so much stuff. Intrusive. Want to destroy those things? What's that? Oh, another box. And that's it. I don't want to see what's up there. Oh, I was down here. Want to shelter? For me, it means another box. Astral bleep. <laughs> Okay, where are we going? Oh, what's up? What? Oh, it's the music. I 
I don't really wanna play it. Answer question within two minutes of listening. Did the song elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? Did a clear image of a weapon appear at your mind during the song? If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what do they say? Do you hear them now? Please choose from one of each of the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. Wait, do we actually need to play the song?
Yeah, so if I had to mute this whole thing... It was awesome. <laughs> Wait, maybe I will show you the name of this. So, so you can... Uh, yes, Pause of the Throw My Dark Discord. Listen to it, it's amazing. And I may look it up on Spotify. It really was something else. Was it like this before? Wait, where are we? I think I'm lost. Here we need to get up. They're talking? Alright, we were supposed to go over there. And instead we were in somewhere, I don't know where. But I like that, I love that. She's in trouble. No one. Get up there. Oh. What the hell is going on? Why is it so choppy? I can't even properly aim. Really? I heard something next to me. No. A bit. Is that all? No, I hear something. Okay, what's that? Nine one one. What is your emergency? Uh, hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear, ma'am. Where are you? I'm inside the warriors. I'm lost. Mom, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might like, go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Come. Away. Okay, and can you describe your surroundings? Ma'am? Hello? Ma'am? Note, this patrol attempted to call them back, but it was no longer in service. What the hell? What the hell? That explains what I heard. Now we need to go to the astral exhibition. Okay, I may need to Change the graphical settings. The astral plane. It's similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space the ever-present inverted black pyramid. The board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Okay. 
Okay. So what I understood is ev that everything is tied and that's all. Great grip. Ah, uh, no. Still, I cannot upgrade it. So I may actually do that. Yeah. Pierce. Precise with a charge shot that penetrates armor on enemies at any range. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. And any moves? Moves. I don't want to use any house mods, so... Let's try this, actually. And I believe this we only have four. We have one point, so why it shows? Maybe just so shows like that. Okay, let's see. We have personal mode. Ooh! Energy recovery plus 28. Give me that. Launch energy cost minus 10. So I will deconstruct this one. 10, 7. Okay, it's level 2, so it's gonna be better. Mm. Shield energy cost. Nah. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff. Damage plus 15%. Damage against enemy armor. Well, it doesn't really work anyway. Wait. Oh, we can only have one. Does anything. 30, 30. Get rid of that. That's 43. 40. Yeah, they're the same. Okay. I want to get rid of some of those. No more per. Shot. Well, that's better. Protector. Oh, give me that. And wait. Oh, I can exchange shutter for spin. I will. I will because I want to see. Wait, wait, wait. You told me I have another mission. No, you don't have. So don't lie to me like that. This is the normal, this is the spin. Mm. I don't know why it sometimes does that. The astral excavation was originally built for the astral nodes to use as training location. A place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but Blank was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered Blank, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the Blank behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in uh, with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity, now known as Astral Spike. All dated terms in this report have been redacted. Is that the astral plane? An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. 
Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Okay. What the hell is that? And I, I can. That's creepy. Mm, well, I guess I know it wasn't that what was talking. I can't believe they keep that thing here. And I can. Somehow I'm not even shocked. Good thing that they know how to keep it contained. Do it like this. <sighs> yeah, luckily they know how to con contain it. Don't answer, damn it. We need backup down here. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Okay. Okay, how many hits do you take? No, you don't. I just had to get a phone call right now, god damn it. Okay, but don't worry, we're doing just fine. We're gonna stay alive, They're, they are gonna die. No, I see you. How many of our... Oh. Okay. Oh god, there's the big one. Ok 
Okay, he's dead. Oh, finally! Gain control of the room. But we need to go to the mail room now! <laughs> Okay, first let's read that. This study extends the works of Irving Janis, Robert Byron and others by proposing strong casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as the subject. See experiments blank for details. Extensive qualitative and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence on behaviors by engaging in blank. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of blank and blank. Okay, and another document. Oh, oh, I want to see this. This report serves as an introductionary guide to the Astral Naut program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astral nodes are chosen individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X ray light box. In the Hypnosis Lab, a section of the Parapsychology Division, Physical and phys psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between planes, known as dives. After each dive, astral nouns must undergo a blank session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane. Gathered data has conclusively proven that blank within an astral plane vary widely between astral nouns. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Okay, but this one is not timed, so I won't do this. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be it for today, for now. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!